Hi, I'm Michelle Chen, and I'll be reading from two poems. Emily Dickinson rides the subway. Because I could not open the door, the MTA kindly opened it for me. My car held but just ourselves and barnyard decency. We slowly rode, we were late, and I had put away my laptop and my gilded watch for fear of high larceny. We passed the station where children blocked their ears from our wheels shriek. We passed the fields of Cheeto bags. We passed the sleeping bum. Or rather, they passed us. My legs grew quivering in ache. For only a small seat, my jail. My breath only stretch. We paused before a man that seemed a widening of the shame. The seat was scarcely visible the pole dancer on the ground. Since then, tis centuries, and yet feels shorter than the day. I first surmised the man spreader's thighs were toward atrocite. This is my next poem on place. I know the time I was young in Singapore when a damaged, eaten brain swiveled on screen in an anti-smoking public health war that waged in my own dreams. Pitchforks in a gory brain and scenes where I was running and being run from a stranger who wouldn't believe me. The yellow pages were still in back then and my dreams often involved strangers on the doorstep one at a time telling me that they didn't believe I had stolen the ink-thick tome. Though I think this was actually New York because there weren't any yellow pages in Singapore, and it's also blurry. I think I lied when I said Singapore in the first line. I'll make sure not to do that again. This really was Singapore, the high tower my mother and grandma lived in the Korean dramas with subtitles, or the Chinese ones where we didn't need any subtitles, pure flesh voices in the language we lived, where I'd always insist on taking their hands during the theme song and doing a line dance. The boys, when they twisted, they played with my doll, wormed those greasy hands in, twisted her arm, and I cried. The trip to a zoo at the very southern tip or something of Asia and the porcupine photo with my scared baby face couldn't take my eyes off it. My mother lifting me in her arms, the bright flamingos in the background. Lately, I read that flamingos sleep without lying down. No fear, all pink, one leg or two, I forget. I'd like to say that I learned something or such the importance of hand contact, eye contact in my young Singapore head. But now I'm asking, in a damn open letter from this side of being young, the other side of this smokescreen sea, teach me how to swallow and spit. Teach me how to sleep standing up.